pop-ups. Anybody in the audience do a pop-up? I love pop-ups. And I was doing pop-ups before pop-ups were cool. Now all the big companies are doing pop-ups. So who, someone tell me the time. Okay, oh, I gotta do, go fast. Okay, pop-ups. So I bought a shopping center at the height of the market and then the next year the, the global crisis hit and I went from two vacancies to 14 vacancies, oh, oh, oy vey. So I called my son's piano teacher and I said, Miss Vanessa, today's your lucky day. You've always wanted to try a bricks and mortar. I'll give you a space, 700 square feet for free. You just have to pay your utility bill and pay insurance and take the space as is. She did that, she hired, 300 she hired seven teachers. Immediately, 300 new people were coming to my shopping center. Win, win, win. Now, would I do that with a vape store? No, but for her to bring 300 families to my shopping center when I had 14 vacancies at the time of the day where my property was dead, three to six. It was brilliant. She then went from 700 square feet to 2,500 square feet. And I, you know, every quarter moved her up, moved her up, moved, you know, half cam, cam only, five plus cam. When she, when I invited her to move out, I had to because my rents were 50 triple net and she was at 25 triple net. So I helped her go find a flex space and she's now in 4,000 square feet. A win, win, win story. But she was there when I needed her to be and it was awesome. And I, you know, what was my downside? You know, if she was a music instruction teacher, I gave her an old chiropractor space with three little rooms and she expanded, expanded, expanded. Cane's where uh, I, I'm driving to work one day and I see a bunch of little lawn signs in the median, in the grassy median in front of my shopping center that had Cane's wear signs. So University of Miami athletic apparel. And it had a, like an address that I could see that it was a warehouse. I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta go find this guy. He must have merchandise and apparel. He should be in my shopping center. I went and tried to find him. I found him. He had a note on the door, you know, call, you know, appointment only. But I looked in and I saw it was fully loaded with University of Miami stuff. Now, I am a Florida State Seminole. It did take me a little bit of a heartburn to talk to this guy, but you know, you know, I'm an equal opportunity landlord. So I talked to him, he's like, no, I'm good. And then I'm like, no, you really have to be at my center. And I know it's football season, but I'm gonna come back and talk to you. And then I did what many, many, many leasing agents do. I didn't follow up, I forgot. And then next year, July football season, what do I see in the median? The darn signs. And I'm like, darn it, I dropped the ball on this guy. So went to see him again. And then now, now he's in my CRM and I'm calling him. I'm like, I'm gonna call you after football season. So literally January you know, 10th, I'm calling him. January 20th, January 30th, one day he walks into my office. I literally leaped, like I had this office where I, it was in my shopping center. So he walks in and I could see from, like I had this open window where, from my office in the back. And I'm like, I have to have you here. He, I did a deal with him during football season for the next year. I said, I'll let you pay a thousand a month I'm gonna give you 1,100 square feet. By that time I had about, of the 14 vacancies, I still had about eight. I said, um, 1,000 a month, five months football season, you take the space as is, and then we'll talk about it after. What are you doing in the warehouse? 300 grand, you're gonna double that here. He goes, well, we'll see. First year he did $800,000 in 1,100 square feet. So we, I raised him, he said, I want to continue. I did like a thousand a month during off football season. I raised him to 5,000 a month during football season. And he's there a couple months, I mean, a couple years. And then uh, we finally did a long-term lease with him. Now he's doing 1.2 million in the store and 400 online sales. And literally this is an 1100 square foot store filled to the brim of merchandise. And they're doing their online sales like in the common area where the people can't even like, I go, you need to expand. He just opened in July in my center, moved to another space in my, pro in my same shopping center and went to 2,700 square feet. And now, you know that center that I told you I couldn't lease and I had to hire someone? He's opening a second location out there. And that one I'm doing a pop-up. So pop-ups, and, and, and what's so great, because where my center is, is 30 miles away from the campus. So the people that go to him are the epitome and definition of destination traffic that I wouldn't have gotten. So I am a huge believer 
for the right use for pop-ups. He, he, he just finished the football season. And again, the Hurricanes didn't do as well this year. I was like biting my nails. I'm actually like cheering for the Miami Hurricanes. Um, he did 1.8 million and now they have a whole space, 600 square feet for online. Their online went up to a million dollars. So pop-ups are awesome. <laughs>